Google is the driving factor in SEO due to over 90% of worldwide searches. They want you to have a fast website. So the question is, how do I speed my website up? Hi guys, I'm Chris Morano from Blue Water Marketing. As I've mentioned before, I've been working in digital marketing for years, for Fortune 500 businesses, all the way to small startups. As my career has continued, I've come to the conclusion I know a decent amount about this online marketing thing, and I want to help to explain to you the people who don't. If you're an SEO specialist, you know all of this stuff, or at least you should. But what about the small business owner who's trying to break even this year? Or maybe you're looking to hire someone for marketing, but you don't know enough to ask the right questions. Or maybe you've been burned before from a marketing company because you didn't know what to ask. That's what I want to help you with. In our last video, I described an overview of alt text for images on your website. Today, I want to explain why site speed is vital for your website and how to possibly speed it up. This becomes a little more complex, but I'll try and keep it simple. In April of 2010, Google Webmasters blog posted that site speed is one of the most important ranking factors on Google. This wasn't a huge shock to the industry, but now it really mattered. Sometimes we get lost in the technical stuff for SEO, but overall, we need to keep in mind that Google's number one purpose is to serve their users with the best content for their search. The most important question is how do we make sure that our website or our client's websites are the best option for Google to show? One aspect is ensuring that the results is making sure that our website is lightning fast. Otherwise, there are no first page results. So you're asking yourself, well, Chris, my website loads as slow as a snail. Unfortunately, I can tell you that the old story of the turtle and the hare, the turtle doesn't win this race. Websites should ideally load in three seconds. Sounds fast, right? Well, it's because it is. Small websites with compressed images, light code, and minimal content can load quickly with no problem. But what about a website that is image heavy with 500 pages, videos, and podcasts? Well, that's where the work comes in. First, make sure you're using a good hosting company for your website. There's some huge companies out there with enormous ad budgets. They might not offer the best solution to hosting, but there are some great ones out there. Next, make sure that every single image on your website is compressed. The definition of image compression is the process of encoding or converting an image file in such a way that it consumes less space on your server. It's a type of compression technique that reduces the size of an image file without affecting the quality of the picture. Sounds confusing? Well, it is, and I don't know how it works technically, but that's not what matters. If you search on Google for an image compressor, there are a lot of free ones out there. It's easy. Upload those images to the compressor, compress the image, and then download them. Once you download them, upload them to your website. Add your alt text, place them in the correct location, and voila, you're done. Next step, let's look and make sure that our new hosting company is caching our website. Well, what does that mean? That means that when the data of our website is stored so that the user is able to view it faster. Think of a quick question. What's three plus three? You already knew the answer was six and you didn't even have to think about it. That's how caching works in extremely simple terms. Websites are viewed hundreds, thousands, sometimes millions of times per month. Normally, each time a user visits a web page, the server goes back and forth and slows each part of the website. The thing is, the website most of the times loads the exact same way. So caching stores the final version of the website so that the server doesn't have to go back and forth to get all the data. The data is already there. Next is another tool to increase your speeds. It's called a CDN network. We use a CDN on our websites and our clients. It's a content delivery network. It's not a hosting service, but instead a network of servers used to cache your website. 
Google search CDN and the number one result is our favorite. I highly recommend using a CDN network, especially there's a free version. So there's no sense in not trying. There are many reasons why site speed is important, but in my opinion, most important is the user's experience. User experience is how good or bad the user's experience is when they're on your website. Speed is so important because if it takes 10 seconds to load your website, well then chances are I'm leaving before I see anything on your website. There goes a new client or a new customer or a new sale. Speed is important because who has 10 seconds to wait for a website to load while you're trying to order a pizza? Not me. I want the menu now. I want to make the phone call now, not 10 seconds, 20 seconds later. So Google looks at average time on page and bounce rate as a qualifier when ranking your website. If your site takes 10 seconds to load and people leave almost instantly, well, then your average time on page will be terrible. You will have an extremely high bounce rate and your website's gonna rank lower. The faster your website loads, the quicker I'm able to find the information that I searched on Google for. It makes sense, right? As I've mentioned before over and over again, SEO is technical in nature, but it can lead to enormous growth for your business. We want to break down the complexity of it in small snippets of information so that as time goes on, you will have the full understanding of what SEO is. You might not be able to do it, but you'll at least be able to ask the right questions. So feel free to contact the team at Blue Water Marketing. As usual, you can always leave a comment below and we'll do our best to answer all of your questions. Thanks as always for watching. We will be continuing to post videos relevant to SEO and PPC on a weekly basis. So make sure to subscribe and follow us on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram for more great content.